What's going on? What's going on? It's your man Dominic K in here. Of course, the Dominic K show on firebroadcasting.com. Hope everybody's having a great weekend and all that good stuff. Uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, man, Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk, of course, the rapper uh, from Chicago. Uh, very promising career, right? He's got a Grammy and, um, you know, makes makes good music. I, I like I like Dirk's music. So the Chicago rapper, as many of you know, arrested in Florida uh, on Thursday. Now, the charge, serious charges, murder for hire charges. That's what he is suspected of doing. Now, following the arrest of five men affiliated with Dirk's Only the Family uh, Hip Hop Collective, uh, they were also charged in this murder for hire plot. Uh, and uh, it allegedly targeted Quando Rondo in retaliation for the 2020 murder of King Vaughn. So a lot to unpack here. And, you know, uh, some of these rappers watching too many movies. There's no way that you could do be involved in a murder for hire plot 2024 and think that you're going to get away with this uh, a high profile rapper even a low profile rapper as soon as pressure was applied as soon as the heat was on they turned on him they turned on him these are these are folks that are involved in his uh you know label as well as uh, suspected of being involved in this murder for hire plot. So let's get into some of the key facts here. Lil Dirk is 32 years old. Real name is Dirk Devante Banks. And he is being held in Broward County, Florida, following his arrest on Thursday, according to Broward County arrest records. So on the verge of dropping a new album, like I said, he's got a Grammy. He's got he, he's got some he got some bona fide hits, right? Now the arrest record says that Dirk was arrested for a murder for higher charge, uh, but the exact nature of his involvement in this alleged murder for hire plot uh, is unclear. So folks are suspecting, you know, the the internet streets are are saying that he paid to have this murder take place. So the uh, target of the uh, alleged murder plot did not even uh, meet his demise. It was someone else. Uh, but we'll get into that. So so last week on Thursday, five men, uh, Kavon London Grant, uh, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, um, Asa Houston, whom prosecutors allege to have ties to the uh, only the family uh, outfit, were arrested in Chicago and appeared in uh, the uh, uh, Dirksen uh, U.S. courthouse uh, in Chicago, according to the Chicago Tribune. So these guys arrested and then Dirk gets arrested. So he's obviously involved in this. Um, or at least suspected to be involved in this. So when you look at somebody like Young Thug, Young Thug has been on trial. It seems like Young Thug has been on trial for five years. Right? He ain't been on trial that long, but he's been on trial for a long time. Uh, this has, uh, the Young Thug, the, the YSL trial, has completely derailed his career. Now you may say, why are you talking about career? Is somebody lost their life? And you're absolutely right. All right? I, and, and I'm not minimizing the loss of life at all. At all. Um, I'm just unpacking this. And first of all, why, when we have so many of our artists attain a certain level of success, why are they still pulled to the streets? I thought we're trying to get out of the streets. That's what I thought. Uh, but it does not appear that way. It does not appear that way. So according to the indictment, the indictment that was filed in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles uh, charges uh, against the five men, including conspiracy to commit murder for hire, resulting in death, and the use of a machine gun, resulting in death. All right, this is serious stuff. And so, 
Uh, it's been a couple years since this murder happened. And uh, after that, I guess folks thought that, I don't know, <laughs> they're in the clear. They thought that because some time had gone by, maybe no one was investigating this. No, they're still investigating. They're still investigating. And prosecutors have alleged that the five men conspired in 2022 to kill rapper Quando Rondo uh, as retaliation for the 2020 uh, altercation between his crew and King Vaughn's crew uh, involving uh, an exchange of gunfire that killed King Vaughn. Now, uh, for that uh, a death, Quando Rondo's affiliate, um, uh, Timothy Leakes, was charged with murder. So according to the investigation, uh, this was a retaliation attempt uh, for that. Now, prosecutors say that the five men traveled to Los Angeles to shoot and kill Quando Rondo in his car. Uh, but the gunfire instead killed his cousin, um, and uh, he was a passenger in the vehicle, Lil' Pop, right? So we have reached out to representatives uh, for Lil' Dirk and attorneys for the five men in Chicago, uh, but we have not heard back yet. So a lot to unpack here. This is going to be a trial. This is going to be a whole thing. And sadly, a lot of families affected by this. Uh, is this the end of drill rap? Can Dirk recover his career? Uh, this may be the end of drill rap, and I don't know how Dirk recovers his career, uh, at least for some time. Uh, at least for some time. Now, he has an album uh, that is uh, going to be released shortly. Uh, biggest hit of his career uh, all my life, the, the collab with J. Cole. Love that record. Uh, and, you know, we've been hearing uh, uh, fans and, and, and folks saying that they want to separate the artist from the artistry, right? Separate the, the person from the artist, right? So when folks commit uh, crimes or, or, or do heinous acts, some people have, have made a, a rationale that they can say, I can still support this artist while not supporting what they did. And uh, I think that you're going to continue to hear a lot of uh, that kind of stuff. So prior to Dirk's arrest, he was promoting his, his uh, forthcoming album, Deep Thoughts. It is set to drop on November the 22nd. I think that it's still going to drop. Uh, he'd released a couple of uh, songs last month including Late Checkout, uh, which came out uh, about two weeks ago. And so he's trying to build up the buzz for the new album. I don't know. Uh, th this case is, is disturbing. It's just like, why would you do this? Why would you think that this was a good idea? Did the Internet pressure him? I mean, because when the uh, uh, death of King Vaughn happened, oh, there was a lot of pressure. We thought, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. Uh, but the Internet can be a tricky place. A lot of the stuff that people say in comment sections, you can't take it serious. You can't feel that pressure. Well, maybe you feel the pressure, but you can't act on it. Not like this. Not like this. Um, and, and so you have this situation. We have a popular rapper who is in jail. And it just seems like that is the norm. We're just having all of these rappers just go just go. So uh, Dirk had the key to the city. And, you know, just like with uh, Sean Combs, we've seen that when you have these kind of charges come up, the, the, city, the city will turn on you quick. Uh, it will turn on you quick. Um, I know they say innocent until proven guilty, and and he has not been found guilty of anything. So we need to we need to say that first. Uh, he has not been found guilty. Uh, Lil Dirk has not been found guilty of anything. Uh, but the the thing that I want folks to to recognize is that if they did not have strong evidence, they would not have arrested him. If they did not have strong evidence, and it appears that they have some strong evidence. Grammy award-winning rapper 
in a murder for hire plot. So years ago, I guess a couple years ago, when we when we heard uh, maybe it was Gene Deal that uh, uh, security for Diddy, former security. When we heard him start, and whoever else, some I can't remember who was the first person to say it, but we started to hear rumors of or, or uh, uh, rumors that Diddy had something to do with the death of Tupac, right? And at the time, based on the persona of Diddy, we're like, "What? No, that's not nothing to have. Nobody doing no murder for hire." Um, but more the uh, more time that has passed, it doesn't seem as crazy anymore. And this Grammy Award winning rapper Lil Durk from Chicago, uh, I play his music all the time. I, play, I played it, you know, at, at an event last week. Um, listen to it myself. Uh, it doesn't seem that far fetched in this situation, and, and a lot of this has to do with the internet. A lot of this has to do with how quickly uh, news and information and rumors and lies and the truth spread because of the internet. So we have Lil Durk arrested on federal charges. Now, let me say this, and, and I've said this many times before. When the feds bring charges, they usually have all the information. They've had two years to investigate this. Two years. Uh, and so it, it seems like he's being charged allegedly with orchestrating this plot to kill a rival rapper. Thankfully, uh, uh, Drake and 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 uh, uh, his his feud with Kendrick has not reached to that level, although there was gunfire at one point in time. You remember it was some gunfire at Drake's house. Rappers that are feuding should keep it on Keep it on the songs. Keep it on the songs. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. An FBI affidavit, which was released uh, on Friday, federal prosecutors allege that Banks, the leader of the uh, the outfit OTF, only the family, ordered his associates to kill Quando Rondo in retaliation for the murder of King Vaughn. So Vaughn, if you remember, was gunned down by an associate of Quando Rondo in November of 2020, prosecutors allege. So they got into a fight outside of a strip club in Atlanta. And according to this uh, from the FBI, Banks placed a, a Banks is, is Dirk, placed a bounty on uh, Quando Rondo's life following King Vaughn's murder, according to this affidavit. Prosecutors alleged that the group used money from Dirk and OTF, these, these finances from them, from the organization, to carry out the hit. Now, once they found uh, Quando Rondo's location, five OTF members who we've listed, uh, Keith Jones, David Lindsay, DeAndre Wilson, uh, Asa Houston, and a fifth unnamed associate traveled on a one-way flight from Chicago to San Diego on August 18th, 2022. This is the day before the shooting, according to the affidavit. Dirk text the associate arranging the flights. Don't book no flights under no names involved with me, he said. Once in Los Angeles, uh, Kavon London Grant, who had flown there by private jet, booked a hotel room for the five OTF members using a credit card in Banks' name, according to the affidavit. One day, uh, one day later, which is the, the day of the murder, Grant and uh, OTF members tracked down and stalked Quando Rondo. In two separate vehicles, according to the affidavit, Lindsay Jones and the unnamed associate opened fire on Bowman's vehicle. Bowman is Quando Rondo, which was a black um, Cadillac Escalade at a gas station near the Beverly Center shopping mall. The gunman fired at least 18 rounds at the vehicle, striking and killing Robinson, who is an associate of Quando Rondo and was traveling with the rapper. So you have this, as you see in the movies, because like I said, these kids are watching the movies. 
They're watching the movies too much, right? <laughs> you know, and uh, and, and rap is entertainment and it, and it's a lifestyle. But uh, you know, this is not and, and playing too many video games, clearly. Because why they thought that they were going to get away with this craziness. So they kill the wrong person. And then Jones, Lindsey Wilson, Houston, and the unnamed associate flew back to Chicago hours after the killing, according to the affidavit. Grant, Wilson, Jones, Lindsey, and Houston were indicted for their alleged roles in this murder for hire plot by a California grand jury last month, October 17th. So once that happened, this ball is rolling. So this murder took place two years ago. These guys thought, phew, we beat, the, we beat the charge. We beat it. We got away with it. No. No, the feds were involved. The feds were involved. And so Dirk, 32-year-old, like I said, from Chicago, Grammy Award winning for uh, All My Life with J. Cole, arrested in Miami while attempting to flee the country. Oh, this looks, this looks so bad. This looks so bad. So he was attempting to flee the country, according to the FBI affidavit. Uh, he had booked three international flights scheduled to leave the country uh, Thursday. A one-way flight from Miami to Dubai, another from Fort Lauderdale to Switzerland, another from Miami to Italy. Now, that was kind of slick, right? I tried to confuse them. Uh, Banks made his initial appearance before the judge. Uh, in the Southern District of Florida yesterday afternoon. He remains in federal custody and is expected to be arraigned in Los Angeles federal court in the coming weeks. He's going to be extradited. Um, and as I said, they have not uh, immediately respond to requests for comment, nor do that. Do I expect that they will, uh, that he will or, or uh, allow his attorneys to respond. Um, and so, you know, a, a gangster's life ain't fun. This, this is gangster stuff, right? You're either going to be a gangster or you're going to be a musician. It is very hard to do both. Very hard to do both. Because if you're going to be a gangster, you got to do gangster things. And if you're going to make music, you got to do musician things. But these two worlds don't, don't, uh, uh, don't coincide for long. You have some gangsters who've been in the music industry and have moved around in the music industry, but eventually, eventually things catch up. Eventually things catch up. And when this trial unfolds, there's going to be uh, what the streets call snitching happening. There's going to be telling. There's going to be, there's going to be all kinds of things. Um, But like I said, with the loss of life, families affected, the community affected. I hope that folks are learning a lesson. I'm tired of, of, of seeing this happen over and over and over again. Uh, but this is nothing new. I, and I don't want all of you old school rap fans out there talking about, look at these kids. I can't believe it. Because we can go back. Uh, there are some old school rappers on death row. And, and there have been talks that uh, if Dirk is convicted of this, he could be facing uh, the death penalty. Uh, some of y'all old school folks will remember uh, Steady B and Cool C. These are rappers from the uh, 80s, and they were involved, and in their, their career took a, took a dip, and they started a group called CEB, right? Uh, and... They're trying to get it off the ground. They dropped a couple of songs, maybe had a little bit of a buzz. And then they go out and start doing some robberies, trying to get money up, end up killing a uh, uh, police officer, security guard, uh, killing her woman. And they end up, you know, fleeing, get caught. There's snitching involved, obviously. Uh, and uh, one of them is on death row. So I I don't want the old school folks saying these young rappers because the old school rappers did it too, and we have plenty of instances where rappers have tried to live the gangster life, getting caught up for whatever reason, and um, uh, th this is a sad story for for a lot of reasons, 
and we're going to continue to follow this. Hopefully, um, hopefully we can we can uh, get some type of a statement from Dirk's attorneys. So we'll we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. But we're going to continue to follow this story. And I, I'm encouraged to hear folks' uh, thoughts, of course, in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, threads, uh, at the Diamond K Show, of course, on YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. We're going to continue to follow this story. Is this the end of drill rap? Uh, I think it should be. Uh, I think that it should be. And, and I don't want folks out there talking about he he rapping what he uh, he, you know, living what he rapping, rapping what he living, all that kind of stuff. This is this is not the way it's supposed to go. This is this is not the way that it's supposed to go. All right. So, uh, of course, everybody have a great weekend. We'll be back uh, on Monday with more of the show. All right. Uh, I don't know. I just I, th- this is very disturbing. This is very disturbing for a lot of reasons. I mean, it's a dumb move. It was a dumb move. Uh, and, um, and here, and here you are.